Good morning, my spooky fiber friends. I have my morning coffee and I'm ready to film this mystery yarn unboxing. So I got this in the mail the other day and I have been wanting to open this so badly, but I didn't have time to do a video. So I was like, oh, I have to wait. Um, but I actually have two mystery yarn unboxings to do today, technically, because I have one that's just a regular hobby yarn, mystery yarn unboxing. And then I have a second one that is for their mystery um, make along that they're doing. And I'm actually a little nervous for that one because the whole idea of that mystery make along is super fun, bright colors, which I don't typically do. I usually work with mostly black or like muted colors. Um, I do a lot of like red and purple. So I'm a little nervous, but I thought it would be a really fun challenge for me to, I don't know, see if I can sort of make it in my own style. Maybe I can add something to it, throw in some black somewhere, I don't know. But I, I don't know, I'm excited, I wanna try it out. I also ordered one thing for me in here um, because I had a pattern idea, so I'm excited to see how it is. Oh my god, okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna know which bag is which, but here's the first bag. I feel, this is the smaller one, so I'm thinking this might be the regular mystery bag. And then I have this larger one, which I think this is gonna be the make-along one because there's like, there's like a little paper in here. So I don't know, I feel like this is, I feel like this is gonna be the mystery one, but let's find out together. And then I also got, I know in my last video, I literally was just talking about how I don't like cotton, but I got Cotton King's Cone um, because I had an idea for a pattern and I wanted like super, super thin yarn. So this is, what I think will work best for my idea, hopefully. Um, hopefully it goes well, but we're gonna see. This thing is literally huge too, look at this. It, it was $27, but you get a lot of yarn. Um, it says it is 1,859 yards, so that's a lot. Um, it's a super fine yarn. It's, you can see, it's very, very, very thin. Um, but I'm hoping it'll work good with the idea that I have, which I can't tell you what it is yet. So you'll just have to wait and see, hopefully, if it works out. So I feel like this one is the regular mystery bag. And I think that the larger one is for the make-along, um, mystery project. Because I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but there's like, there's like papers or something in here. I don't know. It looks uh, like there's extra stuff in here. So I'm like, maybe that's for the make along. I don't know, but let's find out. Okay, so I got the Lucky Bag Acrylic. I'm gonna read the description really quick. Um, so it says it is approximately eight ounces of yarn, 500 grams. And it says, here you get an exciting Lucky Bag containing 500 grams of mixed acrylic yarn. Colors, brand, skein size are randomly mixed, um, which means you can get a bag where there are no skeins are the same, or you can get a bag full of the same skeins. Um, but you will definitely get the 500 grams. Um, blah, blah, blah. Are you lucky enough to see what you're going to get in your lucky bag? I don't know, I'm kind of scared to be honest, but let's see. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. First one I'm gonna pull out. This is cute. I kind of like this. Oh, it's very, it's really soft. What is this? Okay, so this says it is Amigo Chunky Aquariel. I hope I'm saying that right, but that's kind of cute. I this is super soft. Um, Honestly, Hobby's acrylic yarns is, is one of my favorites because it's always really soft and I love it. Let's see what else I got. I'm just gonna pull random stuff out. Oh, oh, Amigo XL. I always use Amigo XL, so that's exciting. Um, I have a bunch of this already, so I'm like excited that it's something I already know and use. I love Amigo XL, by the way. Definitely my go-to for acrylic yarn see what else I'm scared <laughs> oh another one of these but in blue 
that's really pretty i think this would make such a cute like scarf or something i don't know the, the vibes are not really for me personally but this would be really pretty as a gift i i definitely could think of something to make for someone let's see what else is in here oh another amigo xl oh that color is really pretty like a minty green i like that Oh, and another one of the same. Oops. Another blue one. I like that. That's actually, it, it reminds me of like a sky, like the sky blue with like little clouds in it or something. Oh, and another Indigo XL in red. I'm, I know I'm definitely going to use these reds for sure. Okay, so I got two Amigo XL in red. I got two Amigo XL in this really pretty mint color. I got two of the Chunky Amigo Aquariel. I hope I'm saying that right, in this really pretty sky blue. And I got one of the Amigo Chunky Aquariel in this purple color. I wanna look up this Aquariel yarn first and see what it's all about. So, it says it's normally twelve dollars. Um, right now it is on sale for seven twenty. Um, let's see. All right, so Amigo Chunky Aquarel. I really don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> um, is a beautiful model look to the Amigo line. The print was created based on the Amigo colors where carefully selected colors intertwine like beautiful watercolors. Oh, it does look like watercolor. Oh, that's so fun. Um, let's see. The yarn is soft, thick, and has a fabulous airy volume. It is 100% acrylic in fantastic full body quality. The wide selection of beautiful shades invites a lot of creative color choices um it works best on thick needles or hooks from seven size seven and up with large chunky 100 gram skeins you'll see results very fast okay let's look up amigo xl and read a little bit about it it says amigo xl is one of those wonderful types of yarn that is so easy to work with that it flies over the needle or hook. It is soft and comfortable and produced with 100% acrylic of a very high quality. Um, it has double the thickness of the regular Amigo and can therefore be knitted or crocheted with a size five hook or needle. Let's see. It is a worsted weight yarn and it is. it comes in 109 yards or 50 grams okay so i actually have already used amigo xl and it's definitely one of my favorites the color selection on this yarn i don't know if you can let me see if i can scroll down is insane there are so many colors to choose from um and one thing i love about amigo xl is the colors are really vibrant and there's a lot of colors that they have that I find difficult to find in other yarn brands. For example, I, I'm a huge fan of like neon green yarn um, as like accents and they have the best neon green in Amigo XL. I'm obsessed with it. I, it's one of those yarns that I just have all the time. So this is what it looks like in person. It is so bright and vibrant. I'm literally obsessed. And it's really hard to find this kind of green anywhere. I have such a hard time finding it. I'm always looking for it and I can never find it because it's like the perfect Halloween kind of vibed green. So overall, I'm pretty excited with everything I got in the Lucky Yarn Bag. Um, the only thing I'll probably use for myself is this red, to be honest. Everything else I'll probably be able to use for gifts and stuff like that. Um, but I am really excited that I got sent this yarn because I've actually never heard of it. And I think that's really fun. And I'm interested to check out if they have any other colors. 
So this one is definitely going to be the No Shades of Grey Make Along Kit. I'm a little excited but nervous too because like I was saying, I don't really use a lot of colors in my work. Um, but I'm going to try and find some way to make this sort of my vibe. And I think for me personally, that will be the fun challenge of it all. Um, or I can just make it and give it as a gift to somebody else. But I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, so for the No Shades of Grey Make Along Challenge, you can sign up on their website. The link is on the front page right now. And I just clicked on it and it takes you to this page where you like enter your information, like your email and stuff. Um, and whether you want to do knit or crochet. And then um, it says, are you joining the hobby make along designed by Katie Jones? Sign up for our mystery make-along where we'll be knitting or crocheting the same cardigan together over six weeks. If you finish the make-along in time, you will not only hold a brand new fashionable and colorful cardigan in your hands, but you will also have the chance to win one of 10 $79 gift cards. It begins the 16th of March and then ends the 1st of May. So I thought the idea of that was super fun. I like the idea to challenge myself to like use different yarns that I'm used to. Um, even if I don't like the colors, I'm excited to work with new yarn just because um, it sort of gives you a chance to expand what you're used to working with because I typically will end up going with the same yarns over and over because I'm used to it and I like it. So I'm excited to see what's in here. All right, let's open it. I'm excited, but nervous. I'm gonna pull them out randomly. Oh wait, maybe I will. Oh, there's like, oh cute, it's in like a, it's in like another bag. That's what I was seeing. Let's see. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, cute. It comes in this little bag. That is so fun. It has all these cute little rainbow yarns on the side. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh. This yarn is so soft. It is the Friends Extra Fine Merino. It's so soft. It is, ooh, it's 100% wool. And it is a fine yarn. Ooh. Okay, let me, I'm gonna, I wanna show you all the colors in here. I think it's all the same yarn, so let's find out. I've never used this yarn before. There's this really pretty red color, the yellow. Ooh, I like this color, really nice green. I love this green. That's really nice. Ooh, some white. Another white. Ooh, very pretty lavender. A light pink. Another white. Ooh, a very fun neon pink. I actually love that. I love this color green, oh my goodness. A blue. And there's one more, and it is a super fun pumpkin orange. I love this. Okay, so here's everything. Definitely not my typical color palette, but I already knew that going into it, so it's okay. Okay, so I've never tried this Friends Extra Fine Merino Wool Yarn, so I wanna learn a little bit more about it. First thing that I'm super excited about is it has so many colors, so many colors. Hobby is honestly really great for that. They always have an amazing color selection. I'm kind of obsessing over this maroon color and it is $8 and 30 cents. So not too bad actually. And I'm really excited that this yarn does not feel scratchy like some of the other wool that I've tried in the past. It's, it's so soft. It almost feels 
it feels similar to the Amigo yarn. Okay, so it says that it is a sport weight yarn and the recommended size needle and hook is a size three or a four. Um, it says, if you will not settle for any less than the softest merino wool, then you will enjoy working with our friends Extra Fine Merino. Merino wool is a great fiber to keep you warm, helps with regula regulating your body temperature during winter time, and it is completely itch free. Yeah, I will say it's it's super soft. I was like I was saying, I'm really impressed with the way that this feels compared to other wool that I've tried. Um, it says it can be worn but with people who have sensitive skin, including children. Yeah, I'm I, like for me, I'm super picky with my yarn textures, so um like I only really like to use yarn that has that soft feel because it just bugs me if it doesn't. So I'm really impressed. We encourage you to be creative with this yarn and try working with it using a double thread of the same or two different colors, but also you can pair it with a wonderful mohair yarn to give it a fluffy effect. Ooh, that's a good idea. Uh, being extremely versatile, you can knit or crochet any type of project with this yarn, such as sweaters, cardigans, beanies, mittens, scarves, etc. I'm actually really excited to try this yarn. I think these are probably my top three colors because it's giving pastel Halloween and this dark green is really nice too. Also, I just realized that this is actually a tote bag. I thought it was just like a cute little bag that the yarn came in, but no, it's a usable tote bag, which is so cute. I can't get over how cute this is. It'll be such a cute like uh, work in progress project bag. I'm excited. So I'm going to keep all of these yarns back in the bag and keep them nice and safe until it's time to start this project. So that is all I have for you today. Let me know if you've tried the Merino Friends yarn. Um, I'm super curious if you have an experience with it, if you've tried it, if you liked it, um, or any of the other yarn that I talked about. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep putting out tutorials, hauls, stuff like that for you all. It really helps my channel out.